Good morning, Dana High School. My name is Mara. My name is Angel. And my name is Karina. Today is Thursday, October 26th, a gold day. Please stand for your pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may now be seated. Now for some words from Ms. Castillo. Good morning, Donna High School, and welcome back to the halls of Donna High School on a Thursday morning. It is October the 26th, 2017. It's a gold day, and it's an even day. Welcome back. Attendance at Donna High School matters, and our attendance yesterday, 94%. The breakdown was as follows. Our freshman class, 94%. Our sophomores, 93%. Our juniors, 96%. And our seniors, 94%. Overall, 94%. So we have 2,049 students enrolled at DHS. And again, students, make sure you bring in those excuses. Remember that when you do not bring in an excuse, it's an excuse, and teachers cannot be providing you with makeup work, and this is a district policy. Also, students, come out and vote for your homecoming king and queen. Today is the last day. Notification will be tomorrow at the halftime entertainment at the Redskin game. So good luck to the girls and to the boys. And also students come out and support the Redskins tomorrow night at 7.30 at Benito Pratt Stadium. We do have parent night. And also on Saturday, we do have our Mighty Fighting Redskin band that will be competing at area. Good luck to them and bring us back to first division and help let us advance. Again, congratulations to everyone. Also congratulations again to the cross country team and they will be showcased at the pep rally so you come out and meet the cross country runners. Great job to a big shout out to Coach Davila. Also students be informed that next week we do have our diverse students. Uh, they will be trick or treating around the school during your season B's and so if you are in a class with a teacher, uh, come out and join them as well and so the students will be going around the school during season B's. Also students be informed that we will allow students to wear uh, costumes on Tuesday October 31st however you cannot wear a the, the following items that you cannot have anything that's painted on your face any weapons of any sort and also no mask again girls be very uh, diligent in what you wear remember Cinderella had a long dress and not a short dress so once again come out and uh, be a part of the community. Also students we do have the Play-Doh Lab open during uh, the LRC in the LRC after school and on Saturday so come out and uh, if you do need to recover credit make sure you come by. Also the library is open on Saturday. We do have ACT testing this coming Saturday so good luck to all of you. Make sure you bring in the credentials or else you will be turned away. And again students make sure you're checking the calendar. There's a lot of events going on and we want everyone to be a part of that. Remember next week on Wednesday we could have the homecoming mini parade and that is a traditional nation redskin uh, parade pep rally and we will be uh, meeting at the back of the multi-purpose and walking to the stadium at about 7 p.m. and the pep rally will be at 8 kicking off we will uh, start with a 30-minute pep rally we will have our mini bon bonfire and that would be at 8 30 so again come out and be part of the community at the redskin reservation and let it be known that Donna High School students are college bound. If you believe it, you will achieve it. This concludes the morning announcements and have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you, Mrs. Castillo. Now for some club info. The Donna High School Jazz Band is looking for a bass guitar, electric guitar, and piano players. If you are a 9th, 10th, or 11th grader and you have the experience playing any of these instruments and would like to join, stop by the Fine Arts Building for more information. Donna High School will be hosting a blood drive on November 1 and 2. See any student council member for details. Donna High School Student Council will be having the 5K Turkey Trot on November 18, 2017 at Benny LaProd Stadium. Come out and support our student council. Now I go with Ms. Castillo with our boys cross country team and their coach Davila. 
Hello, Redskin family, and uh, welcome here to one of our highlights here at Donna High School. We're very proud to have our cross-country team here, and they did advance at regionals, and we're really excited that they are here to showcase what they've done. At this time, I'd like to recognize our coach, Juan Davila, who's done an outstanding job over the years that he's been here, and he has a very young group, and we do look forward to more advances in the coming school year. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Juan Davila. Good morning. Uh, good morning, uh, Donna High School. Um, in front of you guys have a happy costume team. Um, I'm very proud of the kids, the runners here. Uh, we've been practicing since June, uh, from seven in the morning to about nine. And then uh, when the season starts, they come in like at 6.30, and then we go into the class period. Um, they, do, uh, they, it does, they do require a lot of time. And in district, they got third. Our top runner was Eric right here. And uh, in regionals, they got 13th out of 20, 27, 27 teams. Um, and uh, right now, I would like to introduce the runners from my right to the left. We have uh, Osiel, Gerardo, Abdiel, Cosman, Eric, Sean. Eric. Eric, and this is your uh, 2017 uh, cross country team. And uh, we're looking, uh, we're real young. I'm only losing three seniors, and we're looking hopefully next year to make another run in regionals and hopefully the state. So students, we want to congratulate our cross-country team. They've done an outstanding job. As you have heard, since June, they've been practicing. They're up early in the morning running, and uh, up until this time, they've already uh, gone to the advancement of regionals. We're very proud of them, and we do want to congratulate all the students. So if you see them in the hallways, congratulate them, because they are representing the Redskin family and the Rio Grande Valley, so congratulations again. And now we do have some, some of our athletes who did advance, who are part of that group. We'd like to interview Cosme, we want to find out, Cosme, how was it since June that you've been practicing? How have you been able to balance your academics along with your cross country? Because you do have to run a lot. You know, focus on practice in the morning and then focus on school in the afternoon. That's all you gotta do, just, you know, it's pretty simple to balance it. That's really great because it takes a lot, especially this group of students, they're very talented. So in order for them to have been advanced, you know, all of you do know that they do need to pass in order to play, so they've kept up with their work. And we do thank Mr. Davila because he's been checking on that as well. So uh, teachers, great job, and students, great job, and we congratulate you also on behalf of the Redskin family at Donna High School. Thank you. Now we're going to have some words from our students here, our athletes that represented the cross country team. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let them start talking to you about what it's the life of a cross country student. Jerry, so I'm a senior, right? So next year, you have to create a team. So what are you gonna do? Try my best and encourage everyone and keep running and train hard. All right, guys, a life of a cross country runner is hard work and then putting the hours for it and then especially on your grades, especially on that. So, but when we went to regionals, we did our, our best and then we proved like we could do it. And then <laughs> when you have a team, you, you know, you train hard for it. So our goal was to, to, to go out there and to to prove you can run, and we give our, our hearts over there, <laughs> and that's how, how how it is. And we placed 13 out of 27 runners in the series. Uh, it's not about running. Uh, you have to sacrifice a lot of team, a lot of things uh, just to run. No hay más de correr, eh, este deporte es mucho sacrificio, mucho sudor y dolor. Eh, los, tienes que levantarte de temprano, como a las 5 de la mañana, solo para correr, bien desvelados. <risa> eh, todavía ir a la escuela y después a la escuela también entrenar. Eh, mucho de, de, no hay más es de decir de que puedes correr. Y, so um, in the summer, we put on a lot of mileage. So like, like for our training, that helps us for the workouts. But for the workouts, we, we, uh, we race hard and we practice hard. 
So when we go to the races, we know we can do it. Like we, we just train our, and our coach, Daila. So we, we rely on the coach. So when we go to the races, we prove like we can do it. No, no matter what, no excuses. We just we, we got a team. So we just train hard and we run hard. Well, I want to throw a shout out to the soccer coach, Coach um, Reyes, to the people who supported us, uh, our family members, the administration, the principal, our coaches. Uh, and I want to give a shout out to Coach Epp, uh, the basketball coach, uh, and the Donna High School. Donna High School, <laughs> we are awarding the students with a small poster a token of appreciation. And so what it has here, it has a lot of pictures of the boys, but we do want to uh, develop one for each student because we do have pictures of all the students yeah. so they can have their own poster. But also we want to recognize them at the pep rally this Friday. So once again, come out and uh, find out who they are, meet them, shake their hands, and join cross country. And let the running continue. Have a great day. Thank you, cross country team and staff. Great job. That is all for your morning announcements. Thank you and have a good day, guys. Ooh.